you anticipate that they'll start arriving? Well, the commitment is to have 25,000 of them by, by the end of the year. We are working on the logistics of that. Obviously, a good number will be coming in the weeks to come. I cannot give you a precise number, but as we speak, we are working on transport, air transport, uh, possibly uh, transport by sea. We have to, we are working on the process uh, for selecting the refugees, for getting exit permits for these refugees. We have to engage in coming days with uh, leaders of the countries in which the refugees are now residing, with uh, transportation facilities, with uh, the army is playing a major role because military bases could be one of the locations in which uh, these people are lodged. So we are working on all these fronts at the same time and within a short time, a matter of days or uh, a small number of weeks, we will have a detailed announcement of plans with numbers to provide to Canadians. You mentioned ships. In addition to ships, are you looking at a combination of commercial aircraft and military aircraft to get these people to Canada? Every option is on the table, whatever works, whatever is cost effective, whatever will get them here safely and quickly. So yes, we're looking at the possibility of commercial air airlines, we're looking at the possibility of the Air Force, we're looking at the possibility of ships. All of these things are being considered as we speak, and all will be used to the extent that they are needed to get the job done. The refugees are in various countries in the region. Can you tell us which countries you'd be looking at to have them come? Well, there are three primary countries that we are looking at, uh, Turkey, Jordan, and Lebanon. Uh, we have to clearly liaise with the governments of those countries and with the United Nations, and each country has its own particul particularities. It's possible that we will take some refugees from each of those countries, or it may be that there will be more of a focus on one or two of them, but uh, we, we are working on that as we speak.